Greetings to you. Hello, it is V from V Love and Crystals and V Love and Tarot. Today's charms reading is for you, Aquarius friends. So, if you're looking for pick a cards, I do have them over on my V Love and Tarot channel. If you're looking for more charms readings, please subscribe to this channel. I'll have a little link to my other channel down below as well. Okay, <clears throat> so Aquarius, it is if your turn for other placements in your chart. I do have the other ones going up. Check out my uh, channel and you'll see the other signs pop up. And also I'm going to be creating an intuitive building workshop. So please do check out the community tab for updates. And I will make an announcement at some point um, formally in a video. So alright, let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to um, use my dice to bring some angel numbers in. That's position number one for you. Thanks so much for your time, your love, your support, and for being here. <clears throat> you have number two so far. Uh, okay, so first off, this is asking me to use two dice. So we're going to use this to tell me how many dice to use <clears throat> to see what number I can come out with. Okay, you have 62 or 26. So two dice, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> 26 is your number. Okay. Angel number 26, Aquarius, air. It's important for you to be in the company of people who lift your spirit. Step back from anyone who is making you feel small and inferior. That's the quote that Eleanor, Eleanor Roosevelt uh, is known for. Never make anyone make you feel inferior. Don't give your consent to make people feel make you feel small or inferior. Eleanor Roosevelt. So that is uh that's you're gonna be your angel number for right now. So look up twenty six. Also look up what number twenty sixty two means for you. I will do that right now because um I did see it that way too. Sixty two, take time to see the points of view of those you may be challenged by at this time. Call on the Angels of Harmony to ease any challenging relationships. <clears throat> Alright. So now let's get into your uh, current energy. I'm going to be using charms for the rest of this spread here. I created this myself based on what my intuition needed. Okay, ready? For you, Sag oh, I'm sorry, Aquarius, Aquarius, air sign, air sign. Now, if you are <clears throat> sensitive to uh, sound, please mute the video at this time. I will be shuffling my charms. Okay. <clears throat> wants to come out. Alright, let's do this Aquarius. So the first thing I'm getting right now, let me let me channel my energy some more. <clears throat> okay. So right now you have angel number uh, 26. So we talked about relationships, like uh, if you're feeling challenged by a certain relationship. Or a friend, yeah, so any type of relationship or situation <laughs> uh, Anybody you're in encountering with, that number did come out for number 62. And now we have love. So if you are feeling uh, challenged or <clears throat> butting heads with someone in your life, either online or in person, it's saying to call in on your angels. It's time to meditate. It's time to ground yourself and... Great, yeah, uh, work on your connections, but also needing time from them. So if you are, like, not seeing eye to eye, and you're feeling so overwhelmed with someone in your family, your friendship circle, your job, uh, Spirit could say maybe set some boundaries, um, ground yourself, uh, figure out your, your emotions, you know, make sense of your emotions. Why are you feeling this way? Um, we can point fingers at them, but it, it also could be something that we're reacting to, something that's triggering us so that's what i'm getting you have that love here coming in a spiritual connection also could be coming through to you some kind of uh kindred kindred uh spirit 
kindred uh, connection here, a very soul connection for you, pal. I'm sorry, Aquarius, air sign. Some kind of soul, uh, com uh, what's it called? Union here. You could be inter or uh, what's it called? In in entangled, or not entangled, but blending in with someone here. You, I see the d double hearts, which is very, they look like they're con connected. <clears throat> so spirit can be bringing you, for others of you, Aquarius, uh, a soul connection, whether it's a friendship or it is a lover or loving relationship, romantic relationship. Okay, and there could be a challenge here, which is why we're, we're stepping into that angel number. If you're feeling triggered or challenged or you're feeling <clears throat> pressured to, um, if you f period, then call in on your gui your guides, your angel team, uh, and see what you can do to bring this connection some, some fresh uh, energy, feng shui energy. Um, you know, for instance, man, I'm having a tough time with my coworker. She doesn't leave me alone. She's always in my business. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave this to the angels. I'm going to leave this to my guardians. I'm going to say, Spirit, please help me. I, I need the energy and strength and the patience to deal with this connection, this, this uh, coworker, this uh, professional relationship. So, yeah, call in on your manifestation skills and your angels and guardians. Say a prayer if you pray. <clears throat> okay, so, but... Angels, they could be connecting you like uh, with someone who's of your high frequency, your high vibration. Spiritual connection coming through. Okay, moving on. Aquarius. You have interesting <clears throat> air with the Christmas tree, which also I'm getting air energy. So current energy, you could be feeling the energy of what's to come for the holiday season, see, uh, winter season. Something can be whipping up for you in, in the holiday, uh, yeah, winter solstice, um, time frame, winter, winter. So, something can be coming through in winter that you're going to be feel very, feeling very fortunate, very happy about. Um, and I see that there's only two things touching this current energy. Also, the tree tree of life you could be needing to ground yourself you could be needing to um <clears throat> i don't know improve your health because i'm getting longevity everlasting like evergreen tree so in order to live a healthier and happier life consider improving your health today i don't do health related re reading so i would just touch on it briefly incorporate something new into your healthy routines and ask your doctor if you need to do that Unless it's something, you know, simple like taking, um, I don't know, uh, drinking more water, for instance. I'm not going to tell you what vitamins to take or anything like that because I'm not a healthcare provider or a professional practitioner. Also, I'm getting, uh, you, there's a gift coming in here, current energy. Something is going to be coming towards you. The, the Christmas tree is telling me that. Um, you could be feeling very also cold distance and people someone's needing your attention or your affection or your love that's the current energy <clears throat> okay or you need someone to pay attention to you cold energy cold someone's being cold with you someone's being distant with you you need somebody to warm up we have energy i see lights flash but somebody is out in the cold which can indicate the five of pentacles energy like you, maybe you could be struggling right now. You're in the Five of Pentacles energy or you're left out in the cold and you're needing somebody to warm you up, somebody to warm up to you, come to, towards you, um, pay attention to you, etc. That's what you're needing. There's a lack here. I'm also getting the Five of Cups energy. Um, let's see what this little glow thing, or, okay, gateway. So there is a gateway here. So, okay, well, the gateway was like, just like that slanted. Let's see. Hmm... Was it touching? No, I think it was just like that. Alright, so there could be a chance that you might... <clears throat> whatever is happening here could also be something that... It's, it's a current energy. It also it could be trickling into the future, the near future. What you can expect. What to look forward to in the future. 
because I do have the bridge uh, picture right here, or the bridge uh, uh, icon, or what the heck is that? Charm. So your current energy could be also affecting something that's still gonna, going to continue happening. So it could be you feeling a little out in the cold, You feel, maybe you have a cold, that's why health is important right now. So it could be something you look forward to, just start uh, taking appropriate action right now so that you can get better, you feel good in the near future. <clears throat> health is what's coming towards me. Coming to my intuition. Okay. For you, Aquarius, oh, I'm getting your air as well. So Christmas tree, air, I see the cloud right here. Um, something about the weather. Um, okay, so you ha in love you have this key. And the key tells me that you could be unlocking, uh, opening up, becoming more vulnerable with someone. Also, someone could be the key to your, to your lock, or you could be the lock to their key. So, you know, you got intertwined hearts here. Now you got the, the key. Someone's going to hold the lock for you to turn. I don't know. Something happening in your love life that is it's going to... You're going to have, like, a, some kind of breakthrough. I'm getting, like, the Ace of Swords energy. Somebody holding a big, fat sword in the sky. With clouds and a lot of wind. So a lot of air is coming out for you, Aquarius. And it's funny enough, that's the sign you are. You are, you are an air sign. I mean, the elements... Okay. I'm also getting somebody who is um, you having some there's some kind of opportunity and breakthrough and answers. Like if you're waiting for someone to contact you, you're gonna receive contact. If you're waiting for someone to open up to you and and warm up to you, you're gonna receive that soon. If you're waiting for your idea to pan out, see if your idea was a good one, and someone's gonna give you uh, some kind of um, um, what's it called? Accolade for this great idea, you're gonna receive it. Um, and it has to do with love, so it's something that you could be passionate about, and it could be also uh, some kind of notification or message from someone coming in. Um, you could also be asking a loved, loving partner if they if they're interested in you, or if they're free, if they're single, or if they you know are able to date or whatever the case is, you're going to receive some kind of clarity, an option, options. Door is right before you. Okay, money. If you want more love-related readings, by the way, check out my Pick a Card channel. I do like fit almost an hour worth of love readings with cards. Link will be below. Down below in the money sector, you have this flip-flop. So your money is going to be up and down like a roller coaster. I see that currently, but it's not going to be like that forever. It's more like this is what it has been for a little while, and this is just where it's at right now. It, it is what it is. It's the money, the money going up and down like a flip flop, up and down, slapping on the ground, slapping on the floor, on the pavement, on your hardwood floor, etc. So flip floppy, yeah, it's like it's not consistent. Yeah, and there's nothing else surrounding this, so it, it could be that it can change. You can easily change this flip-flop energy by adding another job to the mix or doing something on the side, like on the weekends, or asking for more hours or looking for a better, better job. Okay? So this can be improved. The next thing here is what you can look forward to. So you have this big, fat ring. Interesting. I like this. So this ring tells me there can be commitment coming in. You did have the key, so someone's giving you permission to come into their house. Permission to enter their heart space. The ring, commitment coming in. It might happen during the fall. I see this big fat leaf charm. It might happen during fall season, September, October, November. Even the beginning of December, because uh, winter doesn't start until mid-winter. I'm sorry, mid-December. I'm sorry, winter doesn't start until like December 20th, 21st. But you do have the Christmas tree. So there is something happening with seasons here. So that the next few seasons, I mean, right now we are in the very end of um, summer. By the time we're watching, I mean, recording this video. But by the time you watch this, it can be any time. This is a timeless reading. But the next season over, whether it's freaking spring or freaking summer, whatever, what have you, you are looking into some kind of change the next season over, the next quarter over, 
then the next weather change over. As the, as the seasons change and the weather changes, so does your energy, so does your atmosphere. And then you have the clouds, so weather, energy, a lot of weather, interesting, air. I see the satellite right there too. Okay, you have the clouds, so things can be a little foggy, you might not <clears throat> have an, uh, um, uh, direction or like, uh, yeah, you might not have a direction or things might be like uh, up in the air regarding what's coming next. Like you don't know what your future is going to hold. It, it could be a little iffy. Someone could be, co you know, uh, coming in with commitments and you're like, I'm not sure if this is a, you know, if this person has good intentions. You do have the big fat heart right here. So, I would say, you know, third, uh, third eye chakra, that's the crown, that's the, um, I'm sorry, no, not the blue, the blue chakra is the crown chakra. More air, clouds, airy. So, I would say, and clouds are up above, like up above, you know, our thinking, our brain, our brains. So, I would say a lot of air is coming through for you, so you might receive a lot of clarity or a lot of confusion going forward. How can you scratch that confusion itch? Start questioning everything. Start doing your own research. Act like you are the Page of Swords. And then be direct with the Queen of Swords energy. <clears throat> Why is this person proposing to me all of a sudden? I haven't heard from them in weeks. What's going on here? Or months? Um, why are you so impulsive? You know, like, just question everything. I'm not trying to be negative, but you also got to be smart. So if you want to call me negative, I can. I, you can call me negative if you like. This girl doesn't have any hair on her head, so a lot of crown chakra energy is what I'm getting here. Air sign. Uh, yeah, just, I'm not trying to be negative, but you need to. There's a star right here, Aquarius. You have this star on top of the tree. You need to just educate yourself, educate your, 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 um, your insecurities or your doubts so that you can feel confident so that you if you make a decision it's an educated one it's not an impulsive one why is this person coming into my life all of a sudden and they're saying they love me right away uh, did they did, did someone just break their heart and I'm a rebound person why all of a sudden my job wants me back but they fired me just like that without an explanation what's going on here don't claim that energy that's that's negative i'm sorry i'm just giving scenarios spirits asking me to give different scenarios whether good or bad why all of a sudden i'm uh i don't have to pay a bill for like three months what happened what what's going on with my bills i, I don't understand you know like really question everything question the fine print before you sign a document question the fine print Right now, it's about stepping to your crown chakra because, you know, things could be... You could be feeling bamboozled. Like, what? What? I didn't sign up for this. Meanwhile, you've been charged for the, for a whole year and you're just finding out. I'm getting a lot of digital uh, communication, um, um, satellite communication, uh, internet, world wide web information, stuff like that coming through, which can mean text messages, emails, um, social media stuff happening around this time. So look out for your inbox, your other folder, your junk mail folders. Uh, look out for mail, you know, getting mixed up with your, your, um, flyers and your coupon clipper mail coming in, your junk mail coming into your actual physical mailbox. Your bill can be right in the middle of there and you don't know it. Maybe that's why you're not paying your bills for three months because it's been... Um, they, they decided to make you paperless or that your bill, bill got caught up with someone else's mail and it got trashed. So just watch out. Um, I'm getting, I see greens here. So something about hearts. So the green key and the green ring having to do with your heart space. Commitment coming in here. Things could have been blocked for you in the past and now you're getting some kind of offer, to be honest. But it's going to use you to be, it's going to tell you to be uh, logical over emotional with a blue crown chakra color here. Mind over heart. Okay, you have this paper clip for the guidance. So you got to keep it together, be more organized, get your, your thoughts in order, 
And yeah, that's what I'm leaving you with. All right, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull some cards from my um, my lavender love dreams. If you're interested in this deck, it's the princess love dreams mixed with the lavender love dreams. They are for sale on Etsy and eBay. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Pile number awesome. Pile number awesome. I'm sorry, Aquarius, lovely Aquarius energy. The innovator, the creator. Okay. Aquarius, what's the guidance here going forward? What's the guidance going forward? Aquarius, air energy, what's the guidance going forward? What's the guidance going forward? Okay. Alright, this is for you. Also, uh, Queen of Swords energy is coming out big time. Not the King of Swords. More like the Queen of Swords coming through. Queen of Air. So you might need to step into that power. The innovator, innovative Queen of Swords energy. At this time. She will be very direct and she will be looking for those answers. Questioning everything. That's the time that we're in right now, Aquarius. Okay, so husband and wife. Love, pleasure, and commitment. Open your heart. Spirit saying, that's the guidance. Also, consider your options. You might have more than one love offer. Consider everything. Question everything first. Not in a negative way, but just like fact check. Are you single? You're coming towards me. You're asking for my digits. You're asking for if I'm single. You're asking to meet my family. Are you single? Why the rush? Why you want to meet my family so fast? What's the rush? You know? So just question everything when it comes to love. Love potion, love attraction, and sexual arousal. So the, the, this can be, watch out for people trying to slip you a roofie or anything uh, dishonest. You know, they could be giving you a, a lie. They can be giving you uh, uh, something in your drink. Just watch out. Watch out for love offers trying to bamboozle you, deceive you, lie to you, etc. That's why you have to be the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords. Gown, beauty, attraction, what makes you feel confident in your own skin? What makes you feel beautiful, handsome, appealing? Whether it's clothes, whether it's you building your confidence, you're working out, whether it's you putting on your favorite shoes, whether it's you trying on your favorite um, jewelry, or it's you putting on a nice um, hair piece, who knows? Family, coexisting, traditions. What, when was the last time you saw your family? When was the last time you checked in on them? All right, that's your guidance. That's pretty much what I have for you, Aquarius peeps. Let me know if any of this resonates by leaving a comment below. Thank you so much for letting me charm and, yeah, charm your reading up. Uh, if, it's, if anything is off for you and you feel like it doesn't hold true to you, then just leave it. It's probably for someone else. But maybe 5% of the other portion of this reading did resonate. And you are free to take that and run with it if you wish. If you want something more personal, do check out my uh, Etsy. I do have personal readings. And I'll catch you next time. Let me know if you liked this. I have more coming. And I'll catch you, uh, catch you later.